so right here next to me I got the little dwarf lionfish which will be the fuzzy dwarf or there's also the zebra dwarf I got the two kinds and the scientific name is Dendrochirus brachyterus for the dwarf lion and uh, Dendrochirus zebra for the, the zebra dwarf lion these little guys super cool super cute they will recognize you their eyes are more towards the front facing forward because the predators they need to be able to evaluate the distance so that's why their eyes are kind of a little bit more towards forwards praise the eyes will be towards the side so there's a bigger angle so they can see the predator these ones I just got them uh, on this shipment that you guys saw they are just focusing on feeding them live food so they're eating uh, ghost shrimp ghost shrimp is 10 for two dollars so you get a few throw them there uh, any crustacean see they're already swimming around thinking I'm going to feed them but um, in your tank you can have it in a small tank 30 40 gallons uh, they will get about this size when they're big right now they're about this size so these guys come from the Indian Ocean so the difference between this one and the volitans the volitans is much much bigger that's the one that is causing us some problems here in Florida they're about they're big and they eat whatever fits them out these guys will also eat whatever fits them out but it's all tiny fish like this has to be super tiny and shrimp like peppermint shrimp size they will eat uh, but once they get bigger they will eat bigger shrimp they will not bother the coral at all you can have as many corals as you want have big fish they don't move that much they kind of hop around so be careful when you're cleaning the thing not to get stung by them so make sure you know where it is eventually they can start eating frozen food but that will take a while and you have to use like a feeding stick to entice them because they want to see the movement of their prey to really you know hunt them basically it's it's an easy fish it's not difficult to take care of at all it's just a feeding uh, you know just keep the parameters uh, towards a reef tank you know nothing crazy high you know that will happen with any fish if you ever get stung by these guys it's almost like a bee sting but worse you want to put your hands or the affected area that was stung in very very hot water because uh, the, the venom that you got it's uh, it's basically a protein and it gets denaturated at high temperature so it breaks down so nothing really you know you'd be worried but not don't go he's not going to kill you all right guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow